Hey guys, this is Frank and I'm down in the basement workshop, or the dungeon as I like to call it because it's a little bit dimly lit down here. Um, today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys some modifications I did to my Search Crusher RC boat. And if you've seen some of the other videos on the channel, um, you've probably seen both me and Paul running our boats together. I have a Search Crusher and he's got the Seafire. And I've always noticed that the Seafire is a little bit faster in the stock configuration than the Search Crusher. So me and Paul being as competitive as we are, um, I decided I want to go ahead and upgrade my Search Crusher. See if I can squeeze some more speed out of it. So let's go ahead and take it to a little area where it's got a little bit better light. And then we'll take a look inside the boat. And I'll show you some footage of how the boat runs now after I've done the mods. Okay guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the power system upgrade first. On the Search Crusher, I wanted to try and keep things light, so I went with the Outrunner motor, which is a lot torquier than most of the Inrunner motors and weighs less. This is actually a Turnigy helicopter motor. It's the H3126 1600KV helicopter motor. It has an outside diameter of about 38 millimeters, and it's rated at about 1600 watts of power, which is about double what the stock Inrunner was in this boat. I think it was a 2000KV uh, Inrunner rated at about 700, 750 watts of power. Um, the speed controller that I'm running is a Turnigy Marine 180 amp brush to CSC and we're running this on a five cell setup. I'm running a pair of Zippy Flight Max 2650 milliamp five cell batteries. These batteries are 40 C rated so they can handle the amperage of this uh, motor and ESC setup without any problems and because I went down in KV it allowed me to go up a little bit in prop size too and even with it being on a 5 cell the stock plastic prop is like the same equivalent of a 440 prop and I'm running a, a 642 on here a M642 beryllium copper prop this is an Octura prop that I've detuned, sharpened and balanced myself and as you can see like Paul said earlier I did modify the cooling system I like using a the brass tube like we have here because right behind the prop it acts as a pump and it actually forces the water through the tubing instead of just being pushed through the rudder even at low speeds you get really good water pressure because it's coming off the rooster tail and it's just forcing it right up into the tube and goes right into the cooling system it works really good another mod that I did was I drilled a small hole in the strut to allow me to use uh, one of them pro boat grease guns to grease the bushings without having to take the strut apart. You can get these at any of the local hobby shops. Uh, Pro Boat makes it. It's a little grease gun that you just screw the tube of grease on and you just put the tip in the hole that you drilled and you just squeeze on that button up there and it will lubricate the bushings really good. So I usually don't even have to take my prop shaft out maybe except for maybe once every five or six runs just to check and make sure that everything's good. Um, usually just after every run I'll just squirt some grease into that hole. It works great. All right, now it's time to head out and kick up some rooster tails.